Go back, my son. Samuel left. Samuel akaondoka. He did not follow him again. Akumfuata tena. Because he was fearing. Kwa sababu alikuwa anaogopa. If Saul. Ya kwamba kama Saul. No, than this. Atajua kuhusu hii. He will kill me. Ataniua. So he ran to his house. Akakimbia karudi kwake. Oil. Lakini mafuta. He said the boy. Ndani ya yule kijana. Not be hidden. Haikefichwa. It was manifesting. Ilikuwa inajidhihirika. It was working. Ilikuwa inafanya kazi. It was doing wonders. Ilikuwa inafanya hivyo. Somebody say amen. Nasema amen. If I anoint you today, if God has chosen you, that oil cannot be hidden. It cannot be buried. It cannot be covered. It will explode. It will manifest. It will work. Hey! May the Lord anoint you today for a task. Listen, be seated. Saul had lost the mandate and the potential jukumu. jukumu. He had lost the mandate of leading the people of fighting for people. Ya I pray today that the oil that is coming upon you will give you mandate to fight for your people to fight for your children to fight for your family to fight for, to fight for the nation to fight for Kenya oh yes May God anoint you today. God anoint somebody today here. God anoint somebody today here. Oh God. Be seated, be seated. A moment. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Rabab Azakadaba. After. Bada. After he was anointed. Bada ya kupakwa mafuta. David. Daudi. Did extraordinary things. Akafanya mambo ya siyo ya kawaida. That he will not do at first. Ambayo hangefanya meleni. Oil. Mafuta. Anointing. Upako. Will give you power. Itakupatia nguvu. You will have virtue. Utakuwa na nguvu. To do impossibilities. Kufanya ya siyo wezekana. To do what is not expected of you. Kufanya ya lamba haitaraji upako. You will drive a car. Utaendesha gari. That people are not expecting you to drive. Amayo watu wa wataraji uendesha. You will build a house. Utatenga nyumba. That people will question you. Amayo watu watakuliza maswani. People will question the source of your money. Watu wataulize mayo ya kwa 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 Am I talking to somebody this church? I say oil will give you power to do unexpected to accomplish what was not expected. You will build a house that people will question the source of your money because the source of miracles that you will perform will not fit you. You will do the miracles that we call oversized Anointing will bring oversized miracles. Somebody say oversized. Somebody say oversized. Be seated. Be seated a moment. Be seated. Be seated. Be seated. Are you motivated? Do you feel fire? Do you feel fire in your heart? Do you feel fire in your heart? Praise the Lord. Somebody say oversize. You will do things that is not your size. You will do things when the men try to comprehend and to weigh they will conclude that this thing is too big for this boy. Because of oil. Because of anointing. Because of ah. Because of anointing. 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 Praise the Lord. When David was anointed, he will play guitar. 
Angecheza gita kinada. And Timothy was manifesting. Baka ma people inajidhirisha. Even this music industry. Ata hi kazi ya ya mi ya. It requires oil. Inaitaji mafuta. You cannot just play instruments here. Awezi kucheza vyombo tu hivyo. When you are so dry. Wakati umekauka. When you are dry. Wakati umekauka. You are very irritating. Wewe una una kwaza. You are very annoying. Wewe una kwaza. But when you are anointed. Lakini wakati umetiwa mafuta. When you take that thing. Ukiguza hiyo kinada. You see demon manifesting in the church. Unaona people inajidhirisha peke yake kwa kanisa. The anointed person is touching the keys. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Umai kukula managu bila mavuta. Managu na chumvi na supu. Unakuta kila mtu amebakisha kwa bakuli. Ayendi. Mabendi soi. Aiteremuki. Soi. Managu. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Igilege. Una kaza sana. Una itaka moyo kumingo sana. Moja imeingia ndani yako na nyingine imebaki. Ni kitu ngumu. Lakini wakiweka mafuta. Kini yango kinde muaita. Ijae. Kwenye. Unasikia muniongeze. Idele ntesuwa. Muniongeze. Otesuwa. Mali kwa anointing things flow slowly. Amen. Eflow. Where there is anointing. Mahali kuna upako. Things flow. Mambo yanatiririka. From beginning from this week. Kuanzia wiki hii. Things will flow in your life. Mambo yatatiririka kwa maisha yako. Finances will flow. Pesa zitatiririka. Hey! Hey! Budget will flow. Miradi itatiririka. Your work will flow. Kazi yako itatiririka. Support so oil. Mafuta. Oh no. Hey, mafuta. You know some pastors as as caring people. Watumishi wengine wanatisha watu watungaji. That you know I'm anointed. Unajua nimetiwa mafuta. Do no harm to me. Usinifanyie madhara. I can curse you. Ninaweza nikakulaani. No. Hapana. The anointing. Upako. According to my knowledge here. Kulingana na ufahamu wangu hapa. It is not for oppressing people. Sio ya kugandamiza watu. It is for saving people. Ni ya kuokoa watu. That's what I know. Hiyo ndio kile ninajua. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Anointing. Upako. It's not to it's not to destroy the church. Sio ya kuharibu kanisa. It's not to destroy believers. Sio ya kuangamiza waumini. It is to deliver them from oppression. Ni ya kuokoa kutoka kwa ugandamizaji. When there is anointing. Wakati kuna upako. Your debt shall be paid. Deni yako italipwa. When there is anointing. Mali kuna upako. You will acquire the land without knowing how you how you find. Shaba bila kujua vile When there is anointing. Mali kuna upako. Amen. Amen. Go to a place where there is anointing. Enda mahali kuna upako. Where there is a doctorate, a degree mahali holder kuna... of theology, bachelor's of bachelor's of what? Msomi mkuu wa theolojia. But there is no anointing. Lakini hakuna upako. You will find cripples. Utapata viwete. You find blind people. Utapata vipofu. You find fornication. Unapata uzinzi. You find gossip. Unapata usengenyaji. People have turned from worshippers to gossipers. Watu wametoka kwa waabuduo mpaka watu ambao wanasengenya. From intercessors to fornicators. Kutoka kwa waombezi mpaka washerati. Because there is no oil. Kwa sababu hakuna mafuta. Oil is for addressing the problems. Mafuta ni ya kusuluhisha shida. So this oil in this church. Hii mafuta katika kanisa hili to solve the issues ni akusuluhisha mambo of this entire community ya jamii hii nzima even if we are not found everyone hata kama hatujapata yeyote but as we walk around lakini tunapotembea as you go to every house unapoenda katika kila nyumba anywhere god will take you popote mungu atakupeleka you will go with oil utaenda na mafuta and when you arrive there na ukifika pale you find the mother problem utapata shida but you will tell them lakini utawaambia i know the solution of this thing Tuasuluhisho ya jambo hili. Let us pray. Tuweze kuomba. And we pray to the anointing. Na unaomba kupitia upako. The powerful name of Jesus. Kwa jina lenye nguvu la Yesu. Hallelujah. I join the hands. Kushikana mikono. I join the hands. Ninashikana mikono. The man of God. Na mtumishi wa Mungu. The grace upon his life. Neema iliyojua maisha yake. The grace that is upon my life. Neema iliyojua maisha yake. In the name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. This house will be peace from today. Hii nyumba itakuwa na amani kuanzia leo. I am talking about supernatural anointing. Ninaongea kuhusu upako wa kiungu. This is not common oil I'm talking about. Hii sio mafuta ya kawaida ambayo ninaongea kuhusu. Amen. Amina. 
After David was anointed, baada ya Daudi kupakwa mafuta, there were some disturbances. Kulikuwa na usumbufu fulani which used to occur in his career. Ambayo ilikuwa inasua inamsumbua katika kazi yake. In his profession. Katika kazi yake of shepherdship. Ya kuchunga ya kuwa mtuga mtumishi. So that day siku hiyo after he was anointed, baada ya kutiwa mafuta, he went to the field. Alienda kwenye he killed the lion that was eating the sheep. I pray today after this anointing there is something disturbing you. You will kill it. I say you, you do it. Tell your neighbor, I will kill it. Hey. I'll kill it in Jesus. He killed the bear. He said with my bare hands kwa mikono yangu i took the bead of lion nilichukua simba kill it nikamuua but somebody lakini mtu common man mtu wa kawaida will not kill the lion angeweza kumuua simba unless you have power ila tu una nguvu and power come from the oil nguvu inatoka kwa mtu yes sema dio kasaba say yes sema dio kasaba say yes sema dio hey hey be seated yesi tafadhali teachers Walimu. All people of any profession here. Watu wa kazi yoyote hapa. After today. Baada ya leo. Your teaching will not be common. Walimu wako ama kufundisha itakuwa ya kawaida. At least. You are running. Kukimbia wakimbiaji. You are running. Kukimbia kwako. Will not be normal. Haitakuwa ya kawaida. It will not be common. Haitakuwa ya kawaida. Something. Kitu. Will propel you. Itakutia nguvu. And you will run. Na utakibia. Hey. The Bible says. Biblia inasema. Elijah ran. Elijah alikimbia. Speed. Kwa kasi. He went ahead of char- chariots. Alipita magari. Farasi. Ya, farasi. Because of what? Kwa sababu ya nini? He was anointed. Alikuwa ametiwa mafuta. There is what we call speed anointing. Kuna ile tunaita uh, upako wa kasi. Speed somebody says speed anointing. Mtu aseme upako wa kasi. Are we together? Je, tuko pamoja? Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Speed anointing. Upako wa kasi can give you advantage. Inaweza kukupatia uweza to do things. Kufanya mambo that was supposed to be done in 20 years to come. Ambayo ingefanyika kwa miaka 20 ambayo inakuja. You can do them today. Unaweza ukafanya leo. Say speed anointing. Sema upako wa kasi. Amen. Amina. Speed anointing upako wa kasi can propel you to acquire something kupata kitu that is not fitting you. Ambayo haikufai. That is opposite with you. Ambayo ni kinyume na wewe. People will ask themselves. Watu watajiuliza. How did he find this? Alipataje hii? This is young boy. Huyu ni kijana mdogo. This is young person. Huyu ni mtu mchanga. How did he manage this? Aliwezaje kupata hii? But you know in your heart. Lakini utajua ndani ya moyo wako. That oil. Ile mafuta. An oil. Hallelujah. Is it? Hapa. This is the oil at work. Hii ni mafuta inafanya kazi. Hallelujah. Amen. Amina. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. I was instructing somebody in France. Nilikuwa napatia mtu maagizo kule Ufaransa. Another friend of mine. Rafiki yangu mwingine. He was going somewhere. Alikuwa anaenda mahali. And he was looking for something big. Na alikuwa anatafuta kitu kikubwa. He told me I've gone there nine times. Akaniambia nimeenda pale mara tisa. I told him now. Nikamwambia sasa. Take oil. Chukua mafuta. Hold in your hands. Shika kwenye mikono yako. And then we I was video calling him. Nilikuwa nampigia simu ya video. So we were watching one another. Tulikuwa tunaangaliana. So I told him hold oil in your hands. Nikamwambia shika mafuta kwa mikono yako. I speak to that oil. Nikanenea ile mafuta. In France. Kule Ufaransa. And I pray for it. Na nikaiombea. I pray for the oil. Nikaombea mafuta. I told him. Nikamwambia. Pour that oil upon your head. Mimi na hiyo mafuta juu ya kichwa chako. And your legs. Na miguu yako. Go back to the same office. Enda katika ile ile ofisi. When you arrive to the office. Alipofika kwenye ofisi. Nobody hesitated. Hakuna mtu alisita sita. He was immediately taken over. Moja kwa moja akachukuliwa. And he was given everything. Na akapewa kila kitu. After 20 minutes. Baada ya dakika 20. Told me bishop. Kaniambia askofu. Acha bagitaka tu lunguni. Kila kitu imeenda sawa vile tunavyoongea. Eh mimi na nyote nye. Ndio hii niko nayo. Ah. Oh ya ngumbe bertap tamangubusi moyo. Je ni kubumbengi? Ana kubunono. 
Je ni kutumia fungu la kumipitia kwa simu ama bengi ama ipitie wapi? Ani ndamu wakso TV ruhi kwa panguni. Nikamwambia kama inawezekana tuma hata sasa hivi utupe uikuje. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Amina. I saw something written. Nikaona kitu kimeandikwa. Okay, I don't want to go that further. Sitaki kwenda umbali huo. But I'm telling you something. Lakini nakuambia kitu. It is a secret. Ni siri. I'll pour oil to your head. Nitamimina mafuta kwa kichwa chako. But God will see something inside your heart. Lakini Mungu ataona kitu ndani ya moyo wako. I will see your face. Nitaona uso wako. Tell your neighbor bishop will see my face. Ambia jirani askofu ataona uso wangu. But God will see my heart. Lakini Mungu ataona moyo wangu. Hallelujah. I thank God you have said alone. Na shukuru Mungu umesema peke yako. I thank God it is you who said. Na shukuru Mungu ni wewe so, umesema. If nothing happen. Ka- kitu chochote isipotendeka. I saw the face. Mimi niliona uso. And God saw the eyes. Na Mungu akaona moyo. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> you will not blame me. Hautanilaumu. <laughs> Samuel saw the face. Samuel aliona uso. The Lord saw the eyes. Bwana akaona moyo. Hallelujah. I want you I want if you, if it is possible for you to pray that prayer in the book of Psalms 51 verse number 10 which says Kama unaweza soma Saburi 51 na moja mstari ni umbie moyo safi. At. Bwana niumbie moyo safi. Create in me a clean heart. Niumbie moyo safi e Bwana. Create in me a clean heart on high. Niumbie moyo safi e Bwana. Waka pramuri bala saida riamo kasai. Niumbie moyo safi. God create in me a clean heart. E Mungu niumbie moyo safi. That will fit your plans and your programs. Ambaye itaenda itaandamana na ratiba na mipango yako. That will move you to anoint my life. Ambaye itakuguza uweze kutia mafuta. That will move you to use me. Ambaye itakuguza uweze kutia. That will move you to lift up my life. And my standard. Oh my God. Get in me. Niumbie. A clean heart. Matthew 5:8 says. Blessed are the pure in heart. For they shall see God. David had the pure heart. And that is why God chose him. May God help you today. To have the purest heart. So that you will see God. Because they shall see God. They shall see God. Let in me. Niumbie. Clean at your God. Moyo safi e Mungu. E Bwana niumbie moyo safi. I I'm just giving you this time to pray. Ninakupatia muda huu uweze kuomba. I wonder people who are not praying you are just Ashanga watu ambao wako na shughuli tu. Unachoka na na unachoka na na uokofu. Unachoka na kanisa. Acha. Okay, it's not for everyone eh. So. Sio ya kila moja. Ah, it's not for everyone. I say I'm seeing your face. God is seeing your heart. Nasema nitaona uso Bwana ataona moyo. I'm seeing your face God is seeing your heart. Ninaona uso wako Bwana anaona moyo wako. May God see what is right in you. Mungu aone ambayo kiko ndani ya moyo wako ilio sawa. Unapoomba Niumbie e Bwana a clean heart moyo safi a pure heart moyo uliotakata the heart my father moyo e mungu wangu to fit into your program ambao itaandamana na ratiba zako the heart of lord moyo e mungu and you can use me ambao unaweza kunitumia to bring change kulete mabadiliko in my society katika jamii yangu to bring change in my family kulete mabadiliko katika familia yangu there are so many things kuna mambo mengi which are not moving ambayo haisongi and i know god na ninajua e mungu this requires Somebody with pure heart. Tu aliye na moyo uliotakata. Na mume anoint him. Na mupako. Tu me anoint him. Ili uweze kumtia mafuta. So that he can accomplish. Ili aweze kufanya. Big things all Lord Jehovah. Mambo makubwa e Mungu. That you have assigned him to do. Ambayo umempatia faida. I pray Lord. Ninaomba Bwana. Ni fit. Niweze kuokuu kuingiliana na mipango yako. May I fit like David. Niweze kuingiliana na kama Daudi. May I be found like David. Patikane kama Daudi. May I fit like David. Niweze kuingiliana kama Daudi. Oh God. Eh hey, Mungu. May I fit it to your plans. Niweze kuingia kwenye mipango yako. Your programs. Kwenye ratiba zako. In the name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. God help me. Mungu nisaidie. God help me. Mungu nisaidie. To fit. Kuweza kuingia. Into your plans. Kwenye ratiba zako. Yet in me. Niumbie. A clean heart. Moyo safi. Hallelujah. In Jesus name we pray. Kwa jina la Yesu tunaomba. Amen. Amina. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Can you just wave your hand to me? Wave your hand. Wave your hand. Wave your hand. God bless you. God has chosen you. God bless you, somebody. God bless you. There is somebody God who God has appointed. God has marked you. For something great. God has marked you. God has marked you. God has marked you. God has marked you. Those oppression. That affliction. Today. Leo. God has earmarked you to help your family to take away reproach to take away shame from your family shame of being poor family God has earmarked you to lift the standard of your family Father we thank you Father, we give you glory. Father, we honor you. In the name of Jesus. Can you be seated for a moment? Please, please, I beg you to be seated a moment. Be seated for a moment. Look at this. Watch this. Can, you, can, can, can we read that scripture? 17. 17 what? 17 that's 6. Ah. Oh. Read it. It says what? Okay. David was giving a testimony. May God give you a testimony because of anointing today. I say may God give you a testimony in Jesus' name. You will have a testimony. I don't think I don't think you understand what I'm saying. You will say I did not complete the school. But I find myself in a position of graduates. I, I, who child of God am I talking to? Is it you? Is it you? May God do it permanent in your life. This is the first. David give a testimony. He said your servant has killed both lion and bear. And this uncircumcised Philistine will be like one of them seeing he has divided the armies of the living God I kill lion I kill bear and this uncircumcised Philistine after oil came upon my head I started killing things that was disturbing the ship of my father meaning that David started solving problems in his house in his home the bear and the lion Nasimba. that was causing problem in the house of Jesse David killed them Daudi after that he went to national level this oil will propel you from one level to another one to another one to the national level hey.
from today I don't care the pain you have been passing through oil will solve it hey! Hey! harassment harassment that you've been harassed by the police by assistant chief by evil men it will stop hey, it will stop And this and circumcised Philistine. I am coming from a place where I have killed bear and I have killed lion. And this and circumcised Philistine will be like one of those animals. In fact, already he is dead. As I'm talking to you, I don't kill with hands. I kill with anointing. So already, this challenge is dead. People saw standing Goliath. But David saw the dead Goliath. As you receive oil today, may you see your problem dead. May you see your enemies dead. Let them die before you. Before you walk on them, let them die. Every problem, every challenge, let them die. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. See them dead. See your challenge dead. Am I talking to somebody here? Hallelujah. I see dead. David says, when I was anointed, I kill a lion at home. I kill a bear. And I have come now to the armies of the Lord. When I arrive here, the oil within me will not allow me to hear this Satan. To hear this Satan.